Hello everyone, this is Alta with them speaking. Today, we're not talking about my Max for Live devices, we're not talking about my VST, we're talking about macOS and various TI. Buckle up. So, um, if you are an owner of a virus, virus TI or TI2, and as well if you have a macOS, you have probably noticed that since um, Catalina, so like two or two years and uh, two years ago, um, your t total integration plugin, which is provided with the access software, does not work anymore. Alas, uh, as uh, Camper, uh, who owns Access, has not upgrade, up upgraded the software at all so it only works now with windows um, if you're catalina then you still have the plugin running but you don't have the usb audio working anymore and if you're big Sur or monterey then it just doesn't work doesn't load at all so it's a kind of a pain um, as for those who still want to use the access virus your your stuck using uh, mr island or, or just uh, plain midi and it's a bit cumbersome uh, as the old software uh, was the total integration software uh, was at least a full features and uh, pretty pretty nice to use uh, when it existed but um in the past years and uh, the past time we've uh, tried to do something about that and i uh, think i figured out a way which is of course uh, not using mac os but using windows as under windows at least under windows 10 uh, this uh, TI plugin is still working. What I have is uh, a small computer. So this thing is the running a J4125. It's a Celeron, Intel Celeron, uh, very low end computer, which is totally fineless. fineless. And uh, in parallel, I have this audio grader, which is you probably may know about. Um, it's a software which uh, allows to do di distributed VSTs among a local network um, to uh, use some remote VSTs. Um, this thing has been ongoing for a while um, and until recently um, I couldn't make the virus uh, TI work properly. Uh, now it seems to have been um, to have been stabilized and working pretty neat so let's uh, see how it works and what and what we can do. So uh, what I have here is uh, I have that computer which is uh, my the the Windows computer. So as you see, uh, J4125 is running Windows. Um, this kinds of computer you can find them in AliExpress or that kind of stuff. Uh, that's just an example of the price that it, that you can find is is the same unit that I have, uh, 250 euros. That's not cheap really, um, but you have a uh, yeah, probably cheaper if I just select the right one. It's like it's like two to two hundred euros around. So with four gigabytes of RAM, so it's uh, pretty acceptable um, for a computer. It, it's not very powerful, but it's uh, quite enough for what we want to do. As uh, we are not aiming at running any plugin, actual plugin there, or doing some uh, DSP stuff there, just uh, interfacing with the virus and having the audio come back and forth. So. The audio grader um, page allows you to select uh, depending on your on your operating system. So on the uh, remote computer, I'm installing the server version, and on the computer on my macOS side, I have to use the plugin installer. So this is the server that you download for Windows, and this is the plugin that you download for uh, for Mac. So I'm using one two zero beta six which is uh, not a stable version, but it seems to work quite fine. So I've installed this one and you'll see that it's, uh, it's recognized by, um, by Mac OS. Um, this computer is still running Mojave, by the way. So I'm just experiencing at the moment and not upgrading yet to Big Sur or Monterey, but uh, I expect this, the plugin to work quite similarly uh, because it's not really really meant for it has no no issue it has no no link whatsoever with the virus and um, so this is something you may want to try before before just uh, trashing your virus and if I 
just open this um, unit, this Cubase, um, you see that what we have, uh, we can maybe just try uh, try again from scratch. Let's remove all this. And I'm going to add an instrument piece, an instrument track, which is Audio Gritter Instrument, as it's an instrument which I want to add. It exists as well for FX, but here it's not what, uh, what we are willing to do. And as you see, the um, Audio Gritter server is running here. So on this server, I have the Audio Gritter up and running, and I have uh, installed the virus software, uh, this one. Um, I think it's, yeah, maybe I just removed it, but uh, that's the plugin, the, diff, the regular plugin under Windows, which works fine. So on customer, uh, on, on client side, uh, I'm seeing that computer, which is uh, running the, the server. I can select the buffer size. So as I'm on using a local network and I'm uh, using a cable, Ethernet cable, then I've just disabled the buffer. So I'm just, uh, I'm just connected without any, any glitch uh, on a local server, local, local network. And as soon as I open that, I will have, a, I can see all the, sorry, just reconnect. Yeah, sometimes it's it needs to. Yeah, I think I uh, had this uh, already running, so I just. Yeah, sometimes it's not always that stable, but it's something you wanna you wanna check for yourself. Let's just kill this, and it's starting again uh, automatically. And here you see it just connected again, and now uh, on that menu I see. I have the I, uh, I haven't been able to make the VST three working, so I'm using the VST two instead. And uh, here you see that in my list of remote plugins, I have the various TI. So I just select it. And you see that what I'm seeing is the actual plugin, but it's not running on the Mac side, it's running on the Windows side. side. Let's have a look at my remote control and you see that there's this window, uh, which is in the middle of nowhere uh, on that remote computer and which is showing the interface of the plugin. So you see that I have the full interface and um, should I play something? Uh, now I can play something in. So I'm playing on my keyboard on my Mac and I get uh, the information which is sent and received and I'm pretty sync in sync. So it's quite nice and it's pretty stable so far. Let's uh, add some notes here. Um, just, yeah. I think my track is in G. Let's solo that for the, for the time being. Let's brought some. Yeah, sometimes it glitches. Yeah, sometimes it may happen that the audio grader crashes for some reason. Keep in mind that it's not yet fully stable. This is a better version, but it's at least at the first one, which actually works with the virus. The previous versions I tested uh, was not actually not working at all. So let's go to the browser. If it works, it doesn't seem to. Yeah, for some reason I had, yeah, uh, what I've installed here is a, I have an AnyDesk running on the remote computer. So this way I have the, I've always have a window on that computer in case something goes wrong. I just need to, I, I just can just uh, uh, 
kill the greater server and uh, unlock it from there. So, but I'm not forced to use this one from a regular standpoint. So I, let's see it. I wanna I wanna add an arpeggiator. Whatever has to be an arpeggiator. So as you see, the sound is coming back directly from the radar instance. That's the first point, so it's working quite fine. Um, it's pretty stable. What I can do as well is using the multi uh, multiple sounds so I say I'm gonna add but this one yeah. and but the second one here this one is track one so I'm gonna address track two with this note I'm on the same same uh, I'm the same instrument line I, what I want to make sure in this case is that uh, this is sent the MIDI is sent to whatever MIDI channel so actually actually it means that um, notes which are on channel 2, we actually go to channel 2. So if I play that and I'm on channel 2, I'm just selecting another op, um, say this one, then you're going to hear that this one is, is going to be playing the second notes and this one the first one. Have the actual multi instrument working on the on the remote instance. Of course, uh, the sound is just, is just a serial output from the virus, so the sound uh, on the USB, so the sound is just coming uh, mixed. But uh, anyway, you can solo one and use another if you want to render something. Um, the good thing that I found is that you can actually render the content of what's happening here. So if I just right click here and render in place with these parameters. And you see that the render is actually working. Let's wait just that it finishes. As the virus is not uh, able to do offline rendering, uh, it's pretty long as it's uh, happening as in real time. But the grader knows that uh, offline rendering doesn't work, so it proposes only a real time render. So there we go, and I have this thing here. Let's have a listen, just check that we are all right. So what we can do here is just zoom on this on this thing and see, well, it's gonna be a bit diff difficult to check how accurate we are um, on, the, on the timing, but uh, sound-wise it seems pretty all right. So let's just, again, just re remove this one. It was just for, for testing. Uh, reactivate this one. Maybe just remove all the solos. Um, again, reactivate this thing. Not, not in the right key, probably. You have to remember what key your track is. It's good advice. It's in the okay. Let's change that to make it in D. So as you see, it's pretty stable. Let's open it again. See, it's still working, so it's it's a good point. <laughs> and I can as well um, play with the params. Um, and let's see if the automation is actually working. Uh, what I found is that it's showing um, the first uh, 
uh, params of each of the each of the the channels. So I may have an issue if I want to automate stuff inside the plugin. But let's give it a try. One well, nonetheless. Yeah. These parameters are not shown actually, so so they actually won't work. We probably just have this one. Let's try again. Let's show if there is any automation, but I don't think there is. Yeah. So this is the main drawback for now, is the automation doesn't seem to work as uh, the virus has too many parameters to that it can automate. So we may instead use um, CC mapping, um, as CC would probably will be sent to the to the to the virus. So we have uh, some uh, RAM comp uh, that, that we can learn. But whatever. Yeah. Anyway. Um, Still, this is uh, pretty much it. That's the way that I found to use my uh, virus TI2 um, with uh, macOS uh, running more recent versions of, uh, of macOS. And uh, more info to come. I'll try to put some more information in the description. If you're interested in the links, uh, I'll try to put them in the, in the video as well. And um, thank you for your attention. If you like what I do and want to ask about anything, just feel free to comment on this uh, video. Thank you.